All right, for today's tech tip, I'm going to show you Flippity.net. Uh, the website is Flippity.net here, and what it is is it's a basically a warehouse of a bunch of tools that you can use in your classroom for your meetings, whatever you need. Uh, those tools are things like flashcards, a name random name picker, group creation tool, match cards, um, any kind of manipulatives, creating a board game. There's, you know, you can go to, through this page and see all the cool things that they've got on here that you can make. So once you find what you're looking for, the first thing I like to do is do the demo just to see what it looks like. So today I'm going to show you how to create a bingo card, a bingo game that you could play either virtual or in person um, on on computers. So I'm going to click on demo, um, and what this is going to do is it's going to allow me to choose from this list of terms which ones are going to go on the cards. So um, if I wanted to say let's take these ones off, then these ones won't show up on the on the bingo cards that it automatically generates for the students. The next step is if I wanted to create printed uh, um, bingo chips, I can print them here. And then the last option, well the third option here is play. This is where you get the link that you can send to your students. So if you were in a Google Meet or if you had you know, Canvas running and you shared this link with your students, when they click on it, it's going to take them to a bingo card that's created with those terms we were selecting from. Then the students can click on the words as they come up until they reach bingo. This is really helpful because if we're in a, you know, if you don't have bingo chips uh, in your classroom and you want a free version, this is, this is really easy for that. The students can click new board as many times as they want until they find the board that looks the way they want. Uh, and then they can click to mark them. And that's basically it. Uh, under more, there are some um, links to other creation tools. So that's just the demo to show you what it looks like. Now let's look at how to create it. Um, so there's some instructions here for each of the different tools. You can click on the instructions. We're going to go straight to the template because I already read the instructions. So I'm going to click on template, which is going to take me to make a copy of a Google Sheet that holds all the information for creating my game. So it's all free. It's going to go into my Google Drive so I can use it over and over again as many times as I want, whenever I want. Um, so I'm just going to click on make a copy here. Okay, so now that I've created this in my Google Drive, it just puts it in the random spot in your Google Drive. So the first thing I like to do is up here at the top, I like to give it a name so I can find it in my Google Drive later. So I'm going to call this example bingo game. And then the next thing I like to do is put it in a folder in my drive. To do that, I'm going to click on the folder here, and then it's going to show me my Google Drive, and I can pick a folder to put it into and click move here and that's where it's going to save this and that way I can find it next year if I want to use it. So the first page is uh, you know the meat and the potatoes here. You've got in the left hand side are the terms that show up on the cards. On the right hand side are alternative terms. So let's say you were teaching the states and you were going to call off the capitals and the students on their bingo cards were going to see the states. So they had to put the uh, chip on the the correct state but you're calling out Montgomery and they mark Alabama or let's say you're reading the words in Spanish and the kids are seeing them in English or vice versa so I'm gonna delete everything out of that and then I'm actually gonna clean out the uh, terms page and I'm gonna put in there math facts um, multiply by four and multiply by three okay so now I have my terms and my alt terms put in you can see I put equations in for my terms that's what's gonna show up on my students cards and I put in solutions in for the alt terms that's what I'm gonna read off so I'll say 12 and if you have 4 times 3 or 3 times 4 you can put a bingo card chip on your equation so now that we've done that the next step is to actually publish your page I know it sounds kinda of funny but that's how uh, that's how the bingo game is going to find your terms that go on the cards. So to do that, we're going to click on File, and then under File, we're going to go to Publish to the Web, and then we're just going to click Publish and OK. Now it's published to the web, and our game should work. So to play the game, we're going to click on Get Link here, and then it's going to give us a link. When you click on this link, it's going to take a second to load. 
and it's going to take us to the same page as we were at when we clicked on demo and it showed us the state and the capital but this time it has our terms that were pulled from our published spreadsheet if you didn't publish the spreadsheet it's going to give you an error here telling you you need to go publish your your spread your uh, spreadsheet that's probably the most common issue we have with building these so now I can either print cards that I can pass out in my classroom and use bingo chips in my classroom or if I wanted to play online I could copy this link or even use the QR code here if I wanted so I'm gonna copy the link and maybe I'm in a Google meet with my students and I want to play this virtually I can paste the link in and voila now my students have each kid will have a different bingo card and what I like to do is give them a chance to pick their own card so I'll say alright you guys can hit new board as many times as you want from now until in for the next 10 seconds find the card you want and then stay on that card they'll click it a bunch of times and then you can play the bingo game one question I often get is if they can create their own boards what's gonna stop them from changing it in the middle of the game um, if you play fast enough so if I were to play this you know pretty quick then after you get past four or five bingo chips they're gonna get lost if they're clicking new board and that's gonna pretty much uh, be the deterrent from clicking new board till they find the one that fits so hopefully this helps um, I really think this is cool there's a lot of flippity.net has a lot of really cool uh, tools on it for teachers that are free and they really are free which is great and they really do work